Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 4 p.m. Central Time on Monday, September 9th, coming on with the latest this afternoon on an intensifying tropical storm Francine uh, centered across the uh, southwestern Gulf of Mexico. You can see what's uh, the beginning that appears to be the development of an eye here in the uh, satellite imagery this afternoon. The system has become much better organized in the last 6 to 12 hours and is uh, quickly intensified. Maximum sustained winds right now are estimated to be around 65 miles per hour. You can see the center of Francine about 150 miles to the south southeast of the mouth of the Rio Grande. That's also a little over 435 miles south southwest of Cameron, Louisiana. Uh, and we are expecting Francine to continue to strengthen and uh, likely to become a hurricane overnight tonight or early Tuesday. Right now, the storm is moving off to the north northwest at seven miles per hour. And on radar imagery, you can see that most of the heavy rain is affecting the extreme northeastern coast of Mexico, also extreme southern uh, uh, Texas coast in the Brownsville area. Expecting to see some pretty significant rainfall totals in this region over the next 12 to 24 hours, four to eight inches isolated amounts as high as 12 inches. But the bigger threat is gonna be along the northern Gulf Coast, uh, particularly along the coast of Louisiana, uh, where we now have a storm surge warning that's been issued from east of High Island, Texas, all the way through the Louisiana coast, all the way over to the mouth of the Mississippi River. So this includes places like Vermilion Bay, uh, and we're very concerned about the potential for life-threatening inundation from storm surge in some in this area within the next 36 hours. So everywhere in this sort of dark pink color, if you live in a hurricane evacuation zone for storm surge, you may be asked to leave your home. Uh, and please follow any advice you're given by your local officials, uh, not only today, but through the day tomorrow, as tomorrow will be the, the main day to take action to get ready for Francine as it's gonna rapidly approach the coast of Louisiana and make landfall on Wednesday. Let's take a closer look at the storm surge forecast. Somewhere in this area between Cameron and Port Fourchon, including Vermilion Bay, we're expecting to see storm surge inundation values of five to ten feet above ground level. So I'm about six feet tall. That's potentially the water being four feet over my head. So this is the potential for significantly dangerous life-threatening inundation in this region. Uh, west of Cameron, we are expecting to see uh, between Cameron and High Island inundation of three to five feet above ground level somewhere in that area. East of Port Fourchon to the mouth of the Mississippi River, four to seven feet of inundation. And then east of the mouth of the Mississippi River across the Mississippi coast, including Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Maripaw, two to four feet of inundation above ground level somewhere within that area. Again, these water levels are going to begin to rise very quickly, especially during the morning hours on Wednesday, and then rapidly rise. And the peak surge will occur somewhere near and to the right of where the center of Francine crosses the coast on Wednesday. So let's take a look at the forecast itself. You can see the center of Francine here off the coast of northeastern Mexico, expecting a pretty slow north-northwestward to northward motion over the next 12 to 24 hours. And then we're expecting to see the forward speed of Francine pick up rather dramatically as the storm's going to begin moving at 10 to 15 miles per hour as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday with the center reaching the coast sometime Wednesday afternoon within the hurricane warning area that's now been issued from Sabine Pass to Morgan City, Louisiana. That's where we expect landfall to occur, but hazardous conditions are going to extend well away from the center. We've extended tropical storm watches along the entire Texas coast, now all the way up to um, uh, just uh, uh, near High Island uh, with tropical storm warnings in effect from High Island to Sabine pass and the hurricane watch in effect for much of south central Louisiana, tropical storm watch in effect for southeastern Louisiana, including metropolitan New Orleans, even up into portions of southwestern Mississippi. So with that fast forward motion of Francine as it moves inland, it's going to carry the potential for those dangerous damaging winds quite far inland and we're likely to see these watches and warnings extend farther inland across portions of the lower Mississippi Valley as we go through the night and into tomorrow. But again, even though the center of Francine is expected to stay offshore, we've seen a leftward shift in the track forecast with the redevelopment of the center a little more to the west today. And that doesn't bring at least some risk of tropical storm conditions along much of the Texas coast in this watch area, including places like the Houston metro area, Galveston down to Corpus Christi, Port Aransas, all the way down to Brownsville. So folks in those areas are going to want to pay attention to the potential for tropical storm conditions, but most concerned about the wind threat here in this hurricane warning area from Sabine Pass to Morgan City. And we are expecting Francine to strengthen and be a category two hurricane at landfall. We can see significant significant impacts in this region, power outages, structural damage as well. In terms of the arrival time of those tropical storm force winds within that hurricane warning area, those tropical storm conditions are likely to begin early Wednesday morning. So again, you have the rest of today on Monday, all day Tuesday, you're gonna to wanna to pretty much have your preparations in place by nightfall tomorrow night, because by Wednesday morning, uh, not only as the water level is gonna to begin to rise along the coast, but those winds are gonna increase very quickly. 
Now let's move on to the rainfall threat. While Francine is going to be moving relatively quickly, the area along the Gulf Coast has seen a lot of rainfall over the last several weeks and even months, and there is a significant risk of flash flooding, potentially considerable flash and urban flooding across much of uh, southeastern Louisiana, extending up into portions of southwestern Mississippi, beginning on Wednesday into Thursday. This includes the metro New Orleans area, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles, Homa up to Natchez, just and including Jackson, Mississippi now. Uh, this is, again, a level three out of four risk for flash flooding with a broader level two out of four risk that extends all the way from Brownsville in the short term in South Texas up to the, the Galveston area west of Lake Charles up across much of the lower Mississippi Valley that will and this threat for rainfall with Francine as it moves inland will extend up into Thursday and even later into the work week. Again, the, we already have flood watches in effect for much of southern Louisiana portions of southern Mississippi as well as deep South Texas. So in these flood watch areas, you want to be uh, staying tuned for the potential for flood warnings to being issued and know if you live in a flood prone area where you're going to go if you're asked to leave your home. In terms of the overall rainfall totals, we're looking for four to eight inches isolated amounts as 12 inches across the upper Texas coast into southern Louisiana and Mississippi with those uh, heavier rainfall totals extending up into portions of the lower and even middle Mississippi Valley later into the week. So let's talk a little bit about preparedness. So if you're in these storm surge or hurricane warning areas, again, you want to know what the threat is to your home and where you live. Are you vulnerable to storm surge? You're vulnerable to flooding from fr uh, freshwater flooding from heavy rainfall, strong winds, tornadoes. Find out if you live in an evacuation zone. Follow that advice that you're given by your local officials and identify your home structural risks. This is a time to think about putting up shutters, plywood, covering your windows, taking those steps to protect your home from the potential for hurricane force winds in that warning area. Uh, again, protect your home, determine your sheltering options. If you're gonna have to leave your home, try to just drive tens of miles, not hundreds of miles to get out of that storm surge evacuation zone or get to a safe place. Prepare for uh, potentially considerable power outages, especially in that hurricane warning area. Make sure all your devices are charged. You wanna again have several days of food, water, medicine, anything you're gonna need to survive on your own in the aftermath of this storm. Help your neighbors, especially the vulnerable folks in your, in your, in your community, your friends and family get ready for the storm as well. And uh, just a quick reminder, you know, the event's really gonna unfold in Louisiana starting Wednesday, but it's not too early to start talking about post-storm safety. Could see widespread power outages. We lose a lot of people to generators and improper use of generators and carbon monoxide poisoning after storms. So if you're gonna be using a generator after the event, make sure you're using it properly. So let's wrap up with the key messages here for Francine. Francine's expected to intensify very quickly here over the next 24 to 36 hours, approaching the coast of Louisiana on Wednesday as a hurricane bringing significant uh, potential for life-threatening storm surge inundation along much of the upper Texas and Louisiana coastline where we have storm surge warnings in effect. Again, if you live in those warning areas, please follow any evacuation advice you're given by your local officials. We're expecting damaging hurricane force winds in portions of the Louisiana coastline from Sabine Pass to Morgan City where we have that hurricane warning in effect. Tropical storm conditions are gonna begin in those areas early Wednesday with hurricane conditions expected during the day Wednesday. And then the heavy rainfall and flooding threat will extend uh, from the current locations in northeastern Mexico and deep south Texas. And that threat will shift to the upper Texas coast, Louisiana, Mississippi, and then up into the Mississippi Valley. We're most concerned about the potential for considerable flash and urban flooding across portions of southern Louisiana and southern Mississippi into Thursday morning. So please uh, continue to come back here to hurricanes.gov for more information on Francine from the National Hurricane Center. You can get more information on local impacts in your area from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. We'll be back with you throughout the event from here at the Hurricane Center. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.